All right, so uh, once you're done with that, you should have a pick that does not look, that looks close to this. When you're done, you'll have little berms and stuff on it. I've sanded those down. But what you want to do is you want to take your pick and you want to get a vise like this. Heat up the entire, both pieces pretty good. And then put it in your vise and just squeeze on it as hard as you can. And... And, and like or not as hard as you can but just give it a little tiny bit of a squeeze on there like vice grip tight squeeze on it not very much to squeeze the plastic out of shape and then you want to uh, go through and sand all the berms off like I did and then you'll have a pick that looks kinda like this and you want the this pick if you haven't already done it you want the part that's in this handle to be sanded. If it does come out and you are like, shoot, I didn't sand it, then, uh, yeah. Then you can take and uh, pull it out and go over it again with some really heavy grit that's really nasty and will make it stick in there. Because you can see mine right there on this side is the ground part. So then what you want to do... You want to stick your pick in there if you want the grit on it. If not, then just sand it towards nice and then leave it. If you want grip, the little grip thing on it, like what I showed on the Peterson picks, then you're going to do this. You're going to get some grit paper, something like this maybe is what I use. Um, and you're going to want to heat it up and put it on there sideways so you get a nice diagonal uh, checkering thing instead of whatever or you could just manually checker if you have if you know how to do that I kind of do I'm not very good at it though and I don't want to waste the time on plastic or get whatever other thing something similar to this where you can uh, make your imprints with so then what you want to do is you want to heat it up and my torch does not like me at all stay this thing is not working at all all right I'm gonna go fill it really quick here I think it's out yeah holy crap that's cold Oh my god. Phew, smells like lighter fluid. Ugh, stinky. Give that a shake really quick here. Hopefully that uh, didn't take too much time. Alright, uh, hopefully. Hope that works. Yeah. Alright, much better. So, I don't. Oh, maybe. There we go. Wow. This is the worst torch I've ever had in, I've ever tried to use in my life. Torch epic torch epic fail. Going to turn it down a bit, see if that works. There. Stay. You better stay. All right, then you just want to go over it and heat it up. You better stay on. And you'll note it's kind of hot enough when it starts to boil, like it'll start getting little bubblies on it. That's all I can really describe them as. You'll see. When I'm burning it there, see how it uh, gets the little sparklies on it? That's how I tell when the plastic's hot enough in that certain area. And when you're done with that, yeah, it's starting to bubble up higher now, make the plastic thinner and taller. Once you get it hot enough, set your torch down, 
and you'll put your grit paper on there diagonally or whatever and press really hard down onto it. And when you're done, remove it. And I epically failed at the very tip there, as you can see. But the rest, it will leave that nice little checkering looking thing. And it's very nice and deep. So you want to do that to both sides of it. And when I take this out, you'll see there's a little tiny berm there. You want to take and grind that down again, nice and flat. When you do that, then uh, do it to this side. I don't like doing it to the top because it does uh, it doesn't work very well. So if you like, if you want to do it to the top, go for it. But I don't do it just because it doesn't work right. And then you have to file the berm down, and that's what I did to the other one. That's why I had to file it. So yeah, um, do that, and you're done. So thanks. See ya.